Hey everybody, welcome back to the wood shop. Today we've got a special treat for you. We're going to be talking to our friend Tim over at Mr. Tim's Trading Company. We are so excited about this video. I first learned about Mr. Tim's Trading Company at a professional development event in August of 2020. Brian and I had just started the wood shop and this YouTube channel and it seemed like a great time to tell everyone about Wood Songs by Russell. It just so happened that Ruthie was on that very same call. She and her husband Tim were looking for a local woodworker to build wooden crates for their heritage boxes. Well, we ended up building three prototype crates and fulfilling an order for them before Christmas last year. And we're going to be partnering with Mr. Tibbs Trading Company for Christmas again this year. And we want to help you get to know a little bit more about this Appalachian startup. Hello, we are so excited you're on the show. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thanks for having me. So this might be the first time our audience is hearing about Mr. Tibbs Trading Company. And we know your slogan is, discover yourself with every bite. Now, exactly what does that mean for your customers, and what kind of products have you developed so far? Well, what we create are products that are a true experience. So rather than just having uh, a box of food from international countries or uh, something of that nature, we have taken it to the next level where we help you truly experience a culture through their food and through storytelling. So as far as our, our the products we have created, we've created several, but the ones that are currently available are, first off, is our heritage boxes. And heritage boxes, what they are is it's a box, literally, whether made out of uh, handcrafted wood, as I guess y'all perhaps know about with uh, Wood Sun by Russell, what they've been doing, um, creating our wooden boxes. So you can get them in an actual wooden crate or you can get them into a cardboard box. And the contents of the box, depending on what culture you choose, we currently have the German box, the English box, and we have the Appalachian box. Um, it'll have food uh, uh, that's from that culture, but also that it's all brought together through a story. And that story is seen through the eyes of Mr. Tibbs, the, this 1920s explorer who him and his pet fix Weebo went across the world finding all the greatest flavors the world has to offer. And he sends you this box containing not only his, his experiences in there, like a, a letter essentially, this year we're changing a little bit, you're gonna have like a QR code you'll scan and you'll hear Mr. Tibbs reading his letter out to you. But in there, he'll talk about the people and his experience back in the 1920s and wherever that box is from and then each food item describes a different aspect of the people and so like you'll have one thing that represents what do they eat when they're poor what do they eat when the things are going well what do they eat that brings them joy and so on but the idea is so so going back kind of to the slogan about discovering yourself through every bite which now we've changed a little bit it's now a story through every bite but it's kind of goes along the same lines is that it really is a, a an experience of discovery um so often i mean will go to, if you do get to travel internationally, which is really hard right now, but if you do get to travel there, sometimes people will go to a, a country and literally eat, go find the closest McDonald's and that's all they do. And really they lose out on what is essentially the biggest part almost every culture is really their food. And there's a reason why that food exists. And so sometimes you may think I could never eat fill in the blank or um, you may not know a single thing about English culture, for example, or you don't even realize that English food is actually really good. It gets a bad rap, but it's actually has some really, really incredible flavors. And so our hope is, is by buying our boxes and actually experiencing that, that you're going to expand your horizons as you learn more about other people's, but also realize that, hey, you know what, I can try new things and I can do something that's really different. We partnered last year on the Christmas Heritage Box and had such a great time doing it. It was such an adventure. What is your theme for this year's Christmas Heritage Box? Um, so we try to bring out a new Heritage Box every year. And so last year we had the German uh, Christmas Heritage Box and we had the English Christmas Box. And this year it's not as much of a Christmas box as it is just a, a cultural box, but it's the Appalachian Heritage Box. And this one, Mr. Tibbs goes to Lynch, Kentucky, um, which for anybody who doesn't know where that's at, that's south of us, uh, about an hour, or actually about an hour and a half of at least Pikeville where we live. And uh, down there, it used to be the largest coal camp in the world back in the 1920s. And so it's all about Mr. Tibbs going down there in the 20s to actually seek out this lady who makes the most incredible chow chow with an Italian twist on it. Because we didn't know there were over 38 different nationalities represented uh, in Lynch back in the 20s. So sometimes people get this false idea that Appalachia is just a certain type of person. Really, um, it's a, 
that's a, it has been uh, a melting pot of various cultures. And so that's what you get to discover um, with Mr. Tibbs. He goes down to Lynch, he sees all these different cultures and stuff. And on top of that, he gets to be there for a wedding between a, an Italian man and a Appalachian girl. And so he gets to see all the, the rich traditions and incredible culture that they have. And so that's for this year is the Appalachian box. So I'm really excited about it. Yeah, that's awesome. We were fortunate enough to uh, receive one of the British Heritage boxes last year, and it's a pretty memorable experience, you know, opening all the different items and seeing everything. We had a lot of fun with that, testing each one of the gifts. and Share with our audience uh, what a Heritage box includes. So a Heritage box, um, I kind of already touched on it. Um, you either get it in a handmade wooden crate um, by, made by Woodsong, or you can get it in a cardboard box at, at a discount it's not just a carpet box it's a really pretty box um i wish i was really proud of it. but uh but either way inside of each box you'll be greeted by a letter that's sealed in wax and when you open it up there's a uh a it will be a qr code that you'll scan that will take you to an audio recording of mr tibbs talking about his experiences in whatever culture um culture box that you purchased and him talking about uh everything that happened and how he came to love the people and appreciate their culture and everything and then in the box, there's five different food items, each one representing a different aspect of the people. Like I mentioned, uh, what do they eat when they're poor? What do they eat when they're doing well? What's something they eat that brings them joy? What's a very traditional food that they eat? And lastly, the most exciting one maybe um, is the challenging food. So every culture has many things that people might find off putting. Just the thought of it is just like, I don't know if I can do that sort of thing. But the idea is that essentially that you get to try something that seems intimidating, but it actually tastes really good or it's not as surprising as you think it may be. And so um, every box includes that as well as uh, I've already mentioned an activity for you and your family to do that's from that culture. Now we know that Mr. Tibbs is the face of your company. What exactly inspired you to create this character? Um, well, it really kind of came from my, my children's bedtime stories. So um, I used to tell my kids stories uh, about mostly centered around the pig you see it on our logo behind me. Um, this pig named Squeeba, and he's this pig that's a flavor, flavor tracking pig, and he's obsessed with food. And so I used to tell the story um, to um, my kids and actually my little boy Forster. It was the, the, the name of the pig is Squeeba, and that was his pet pig that he would ride as Prince Forster and do amazing things. The pig was always getting into trouble because he was obsessed with food. So that's where the pig came from. And as far as Mr. Tibbs, that um, kind of was uh, very much inspired by, well, first off, the 1920s was an incredible time to be alive. And there was a, there was a time when you could really travel a lot more easily than they previous could, uh, previously could with uh, trains and, and uh, boats and all that stuff to get you in places that you normally wouldn't have been able to get to before that. Um, but uh, he's mostly, uh, loosely based on Mark Twain. And so if you've ever read um, some of the adventures of Mark Twain, like in his actual life, like you didn't know he got his start writing letters from Hawaii back in the 1800s. So he was actually sent out by a newspaper to go and experience Hawaii and write le letters back to the newspaper about his experiences. And that's actually something that was just those letters were like released like on audio tape here. It's a little bit ago. It's a really cool thing. You should listen to it. But he talks about all his adventures, experiencing the culture and everything. Like that and so that was kind of partially what inspired this was just imagining a, a, a an explorer so to speak or an adventurer so to, uh, that would um have a uh, this real lust and zeal for life and just really trying to wrench everything they possibly can out of their their life or their daily experiences and so that's kind of where it all came from so like mark twain and essentially bedtime stories to my kids in addition to creating heritage boxes, we know that you're pretty community oriented. Um, is it possible to see Mr. Tibbs in person? Um, so as far as our company goes, um, yeah, uh, we are community oriented. We, we have the goal of becoming a second chance employer. So that means we want to employ people who uh, have uh, you know, some sort of record or whatever from the past um, and can't get employment elsewhere. So that's our goal. Um, uh, to do that because that's a huge need everywhere really but here as well um and if you want to see us in person we we on occasion do um uh like conferences and trade shows sort of stuff um so but i mean as of right now it's been 
it's been kind of hit and miss. That's kind of, we've kind of, we haven't been doing as much of that just because with the way things are right now has made it really difficult to um, get the kind of uh, response that we need when we go out. Cause it's a lot of work on our part to go out and take all our stuff out and, and talk to people and stuff. And so it's been, so the answer, I'm sorry, that's a very long answer, but the answer is yes, you possibly could, but you'd have to pay attention to our Facebook page to find out if we're, whenever, if we're going to be in your area or neck of the woods, especially if you live out here in Eastern Kentucky. At the time of this video, Christmas is just around the corner. Where can people go to check out your company, your product offerings, and how they can get their very own heritage box? So if you want to order um, your own box, then you need to go to tibstrainingcompany.com. Um, as soon as you get there, you'll see, you just scroll down and you'll see a button that says shop where you'll actually see all the different products that we have. Um, there's like one I didn't mention, there's an Appalachian snack box that we make as well. And you can see more about that on there, but it's not one of our main live products. Um, but yeah, that's where you can go. And especially if you're wanting to order something for Christmas, which is what we're doing right now is doing Christmas orders. Then um, you need to have your order in by uh, midnight of, of uh, November 31st or basically by December 1st. So who is your main customer? Our main customer. So that's that's interesting. So we've been trying to dial in on exactly who we're trying to appeal to because what we sell is a rather luxurious item. And so we have been like uh, uh, really trying to find that sweet spot as far as the perfect customer is concerned. I mean, obviously people who enjoy food, if you love food, you will love our boxes. You will enjoy culture, you love culture, you're gonna love our boxes. It's people, especially who enjoy history, um, will love our boxes. And so, those are like the basic characteristics of the kind of people that we're looking for um, to sell our boxes to. Um, but one of the biggest things that we have recently started to push for is uh, is corporate gifting. So um, that right, I mean, if you've had to try, to, if you've ever tried to give a, a gift to a, a business partner or maybe a client or you're trying to recruit somebody or whatever, it's so hard to find a truly unique gift. I mean, people always say it, it's like, oh, this is some unique this or that, but it, it's really just another fruit basket or another gift card or, uh, you know, oh, let's give a smoked ham for the 10th year in a row, right? And so what we offer is something that is completely, completely out of left field, so to speak. You know, it's a blending of so many different things that creates a, uh, a an experience in the box. And I think that's one of the biggest things. If there's one thing we're deprived of right now is experiences. I mean, you can buy all the stuff that you want, but I mean, who here doesn't want to get out and visit Europe or who doesn't want to go out and actually do something that's real, you know, rather than just this virtual world that we live in. And I think there's a real craving for um, actual experiences. And so that's what we provide for our customers is, is a real experience and as, and as close as you can possibly get to whatever country's box you chose, that's as close as you're going to be able to get without actually going to that country. That's the, the goal that we have for every box. Well, we thank you so much for joining us today and for partnering with us again on your Heritage Box this year. We've been working hard on the crates to get them to you pretty soon. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience? Uh, no, just, um, just yeah, if you want, if you have any questions, you can uh, just go to our website and see all our products. Everything I talked about is there and, and uh, maybe a little more concise than the way I put it. And if you have any, uh, if you're wanting to do any sort of large orders or something like that for, you know, your uh, Christmas gifting or whatever it may be, um, just reach out to us uh, via email. It's just tibstraincompany at gmail.com. And that's really it. And I just appreciate you all's time. Thank you again, Tim. And we also want to thank you, our audience, for joining us here on Wood Songs by Russell. Be sure to check out Mr. Tibbs Trading Company and discover a story with every bite. To make it easy for you, we'll have their link in the description below. So be sure to go check them out. And until next time, happy woodworking!